What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, there's been a lot going on in the past couple months to a year. Just about a year. Last time I said anything about the channel was, I think, my mom's Chevelle. And then the dirt drags up at Laura's. Well, since then, Katie and I have split. Uh, I'm not going to get into that personal business I don't like to get people into but uh there's gonna be some content coming uh a lot of stuff has happened uh the jeep is gonna be getting new suspension uh probably next month because this month I got Christmas for the kids and whatnot but uh a lot of stuff that the jeep needs Been working, getting stuff done. Um, I'm back home at my mom's for now. Probably gonna get her placed in the next year or so. Probably by after the New Year's. Um, don't have the plow truck anymore. Uh, I, I, we had a plow truck and uh, that went, unfortunately. I mean, I have the title to it. Like I said, I'm not getting into it. Uh, the Jeep. Just recently, uh, I think like a month or two ago, I was taking a coworker home. He just had mouth surgery, and uh, he was pretty hurting, so he asked me for a ride home. So we were driving, going down 46, heading towards uh, Belvedere, and um, this car was coming at us onto oncoming traffic. Oh. Yeah, just coming towards us. Sorry, it's been one of those weekends. But, uh, he must have been doing 50, 60 mile an hour. And, uh, he smacked a deer. And he smacked it hard. So hard, it flew up in the air. And by the time we reached each other, that deer went from this side of the road all the way over and right onto the passenger side of my Jeep. I hit it. I had no time to stop. I hit it. It hit hard, too. And it was a doe. It was probably the biggest doe I've seen yet in Warren County. But uh, it, hit, it hit so hard on the passenger side. Uh, I ended up calling the cops. The other, the other guy's car... He hit so hard, he pushed everything into the radiator. I don't know how or why he decided to take off. Brand new Ford Edge. Was it an Edge? I think it was. But uh, he ended up taking off before the cops showed up. And uh, I had to file a report with the insurance company. Um, my insurance company wants $2,000 for a deductible before they would even touch my Jeep. Um... There's not much body damage, but <clears throat> there's a lot of suspension damage. And um, they wouldn't touch the suspension until they fixed the body work. And then they wanted to charge me an extra $100 for detailing the underneath to get all the guts and stuff out so they could see what's wrong with the, the suspension. You can clearly see the suspension problems. That's all I wanted done because I have my kids that I have to put in here. Um... And unfortunately, they left me hanging. They said they won't touch it unless they get their two grand. Two grand is a lot of money for uh, suspension. Now, it needs a strut on the passenger side because, and, and the driver's side. It, <laughs> when I hit the deer and the suspension compressed, it, it blew out the, the shock in the strut. So right now, the only thing that's really mainly holding the front end up is the coils so it needs two struts you know the whole coil you know set up and everything it needs a tie rod and I think the sway bar is bent um, it's going it's gonna need an alignment obviously when the deer hit it took there's two uh, cam nut cam bolts cam nuts that go through the A-arms, the lower A-arms, 
and it shoved everything to the passenger side. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, the bolts, everything is shoved to the passenger side. Like, uh, bolts are supposed to move at just a smidge, so everything's moved to the passenger side. Um, I, I personally think the, the upper ball joint took a hit on that side because the wheels kind of like, and a lot of people are saying, oh, it's just out of alignment. That's why it's tipped in. I don't think so. But it, it goes Monday. Let's see, today, yeah, Sunday. So tomorrow, it's going to the shop to get assessed. I'm having my own mechanic do it. I would do it. I have the tools, but it's cold. I'm not laying on the ground, and it's going to take a lot of time for me to do it to where somebody that has a lift can probably do it in probably a couple hours. But, uh, yeah, it, the Jeep took a hit. And I'm surprised. There's not much body damage. I mean, it's going to need a bumper cover on the edge. I, I can probably take it to a body shop and have them, like, sand it down and uh, probably, like, work it a little bit and then paint it. It, de it does need a bottom valance. And couple other things going down the side uh, rocker panel but uh, it's it's been a it's been a hell of a ride a hell of a ride um, like I said Katie and I split um, not getting into that I I, I want to say it but I don't because I have I have more respect than that so uh, like I said I'm living back at my mom's all my bills are getting paid. Christmas is right around the corner. Got to get the kids taken care of. But uh, this summer, I know I'm getting a hitch as well after after Christmas, I think. And I get the suspension parts that I need. I'm going to get a hitch so that way, you know, I can go on trails and be towed out. Um, thinking about starting my own club. My own, I want to say Jeep club, but, you know, I want to let other people in as well you know not just jeeps it doesn't have to be jeeps so i'm probably going to be starting my own club with that um there's going to be the campground i'm going to show you guys the campground it's a load of fun up there my family goes up been in the family since 60s 70s and we're all starting to go back up now we're trying to get the the younger generation like myself and a couple of the other you know guys my age basically we go up we go through the woods they used to do this back in the day with old military jeeps they used to just put v8s in them or leave the the, the straight sixes or whatever they had in them or the four cylinders for all that matter uh and they used to go up and have fun find a mud hole have fun now i don't take mine through the swamp or the mud. I take it through a little bit of mud, but I got to drive this every day, and plus I'm still paying on it. So, you know, but I'll, I'll follow them. It's, it's a great time, you know, and people get stuck. People fall in the mud, you know. And then we come back to the campground. We have food and have a big get-together down at the pavilion. It's a load of fun, so you guys will see that too. But, uh, all right, back to the Jeep. Don't mind the mess because it's been sitting probably working on two months now and like I said I've been fighting with the insurance company and it looks like I'm on my own because I, I'm not paying two grand number one I, I kind of don't have two grand and uh, two grand for about four or five hundred dollars in suspension parts is a bit much and they, they're more concerned about the body work and there's not even much body damage at all surprisingly so, uh, I'm not going that route. I'm probably going to find another insurance company after the new year and stuff. And, you know, I'm, I want to make upgrades to this Jeep so it's it's fun and I can do stuff with it. I'm probably going to get a steel bumper for the front. Um, I was looking at a couple. They're, I don't know if they're made in Canada or somewhere out of country, but they're pretty badass bumpers. And... I'm definitely going to save up to get one of those. And like I said, I'm going to get a hitch. I might get a rear steel bump. Yeah. Steel bumper for the rear with the hitch. 
you know, so I have tow points, not to mention I, I want to get a small pop-up camper for the, the campground for me and the kids. So that's all going to be, uh, you know, upgraded. So now it's just, I, I lately I've been focusing on my kids and doing what I have to and going to work. Uh, I was going to start posting again a couple weeks back. I dislocated my ankle, <laughs> uh, at work and, um, I didn't even know it. Well, obviously I did, but I was in the back of my work van and my left ankle was sitting on or on the step and I didn't even have anything lifted up and I went to go bend down to unload my pallet and my ankle just gave out and basically I just fell out of the van on my left side. Nothing's broke. I'm good. And then I thought I just rolled it. And I'm like, yeah, great. So I continued about my day. So at the end of the day, I went to uh, urgent care. And uh, they were getting me set up for an x-ray just to make sure everything was good. And um, she's like, oh, she's down there by my ankle. And she's like, you know, just tell me where the pain is. And she had my foot, like, on an angle. And she went to the left or to the right. You're right, my left. Anyway, and when she went back the other way, it went. And I was like, oh! She's like, you had a dislocated ankle you were walking on. And really, I wasn't even really walking. I was hobbling all day after that, and it was extremely painful. So, it was set. They took x-rays just to make sure there was nothing broke. X-rays came out good. Uh, they put me in a cast for a couple weeks. I'm still wearing like a softer kind of like support cast um because I, I don't know if it's going to happen again but it is what it is but i was going to post when i was out that week and uh it was just it was too much and you know trying to hurt trying to record something and you know having a bum ankle and stuff like that so all right let's get into uh um Jeep repairs. All right. One thing you're going to know, I'm going to show you this right off the bat. It is out of alignment. You can tell that. But I'm hoping after everything gets fixed that uh, it's just an alignment. Because if it's a, you know, a bent control arm or something, then we're really getting into the nitty gritty. But uh, let's get this turned around here. Doo -doo. Whoa. Turn around. Give me a second. I'm working with a new phone here. I had to get a new phone. Trying to get it turned around. Uh -huh. But anyway, I'll show you. Oh, fuck. Excuse my French. I did not mean to say that. I know. But uh, this is really aggravating. How 